Hi, this is Megan Keen with Avid Artist Relations here in Austin, Texas for South by Southwest 2011. And I'm here with Ty West, writer, director, and editor of The Innkeepers, which is part of the Spotlight Premieres section at the film festival. Um, so Ty, tell me a little bit about um, where the concept for The Innkeepers came from. Well, it ultimately started when we were making my previous film called The House of the Devil. Um, we stayed at this kooky hotel in uh, Torrington, Connecticut called The Yankee Peddler. And we were staying there and we were driving 40 minutes to location every day to shoot this satanic movie in the middle of nowhere. But weirder stuff was happening back at the hotel than was happening at the satanic middle of nowhere set. And um, I didn't really think much of it at first. It was just weird, like, you know, stories you have. Um, and then after House of the Devil came out, I was looking for a movie to do next, and I wanted to do something quick and easy that was, uh, you know, small budget so I could just go and do it with all my own people. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll just do the Peddler movie. And uh, so I wrote it about kind of the experiences that we had there and, you know, some of the people that worked there. And so once the, the film was written, uh, you put your crew together, how did you uh, tackle the, the shoot? Well, we went back to the Peddler, which was weird, because it was my second tour there, and I never thought I'd ever go back to Torrington, uh, and now I feel like I've lived there. Um, but, you know, it was all the same cr uh, casting crew, well, not cast, but it was all the same crew, mm -hmm. so we'd all been there before, and we all knew how to do it, so when they said we could shoot there, I mean, if the Peddler had said we couldn't shoot there, I would not have changed the script for another hotel, I would have just thrown it away. Right. Um, so in a way, it just felt like this movie had to go make, um, and it was weird. It was like this odd, like returning to summer camp vibe. <laughs> yeah. And so, as an editor, um, when you're shooting, do you do you feel like you shoot for the edit? Are you are you watching it in that way? I do. Yes, I'm very meticulous about like everything I shoot. I mean, I, I'm very specific about all the shots. I operate the camera too. So um, yeah, there's not a lot of surprises. I mean, I shoot coverage. I'm not crazy, but I mean, it's. You know, I, I, when I go in there and start logging it, I'm like, I know what this stuff is. And so, um, Peter was telling me that you were based in L.A., but you were also working with him in New York. And so, how did you guys work the edit? How was it set up? Well, I think I edited over the summer all by myself in my room. And then uh, we would just email files back and forth, or I'd post stuff on the FTP server or send him a hard drive or something like that. And um, yeah, his, uh, both of our systems were synced up, so like every time I did a change, I would just send him the new project file and he would be able to just have it right in front of him. So we never had to do DVDs or anything like that because I would always be like, here's the new project file and he would just do it and opens right up. So what's great about Avid. And so what do you what do you like work what do you like about working in Media Composer? Why is that your your choice? Uh, you know it's it's the first one that I had a lot of success with as far as like in college when I learned it and I also, I wasn't a Mac person, so Final Cut I never really learned, and I just I, I started with Avid and I liked it. And when people started switching over, I tried it and I didn't like it as much, so I stuck with Avid. I don't know; it makes sense to me. Are there any go-to uh, tricks, effects, tools that you use? I don't know. I'm very old-fashioned. Like I edit, even though you can jump around, I edit the whole movie linearly. I'm like. I'm really boring. I press I and O. I'm in and out. I, like, I, I don't drag it and then scrub around. I don't do that. I just watch the clip and put it in a point and out point and put it down and I just put the movie in order. I have a very like simplistic uh, narrative brain that way. Like I don't, it's just the way I think. And so how does it feel to be back at South by Southwest? I know you've had a couple films here before. Oh, it's great. I mean, it's like a second home to me. They, they're the people that played my first film and kind of validated me as more than a guy I just sold jeans in the mall. And so I think uh, it's great being back here. I've had three movies here now, and I've been on panels every year I haven't had a movie. So they've been by far the most supportive and most welcoming festival I think I've ever been a part of, and I have a lot of loyalty to that. So it's great being here. Very cool. Well, thank you for taking the time. Congratulations. Um, and if you are here, take a look. Uh, make sure to check out The Innkeepers, and if not, keep an eye out for it near you.